Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Test Drive Unlimited PlayStation 2 Edition. Today is episode number 40. If you guys do want to keep up to date with the TDU PS2 series, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And also, don't forget to check the description for our social links. We have Twitter, Discord, and Instagram. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so we are back in Test Drive Unlimited 2. And today what we're going to be doing is um, clubs. Club stuff. Let's get the club stuff done. I think there is six more clubs left to go. Um, I've sort of moved my setup around. So I've got a more comfortable position. Um, so we're going to see how well this sort of sounds. Um... Sounds a little bit echoey, to be honest, but uh, it should be fine. Uh, so first off is the Audi TT Quattro Sport. Let's go and go against that. Uh, so these are races for all-wheel drive cars only. Lemon Sherbet, I think this is. It's very nice. Very nice. Okay, here we go. And we're off. I've got a little bit of a uh, block nose and a sore throat right now, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to record, but hopefully it should be okay. Here we go. Very nice. Good start so far. Oh. Crashed already. But uh, still ahead of the other car, which is fine. Very good. I don't think it's going to be long before we finish this game. It can't be long. Right. Alright, slow down, come on. Perfect. Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Perfect. That was a good corner there. Keep it as smooth and steady as possible. Oh, no. Oof, there was a big car there. Truck in the way. Got to look out for those things. Stray traffic vehicles. They'll get in your way all the time. It's very good though so far. Ah, uh, right, nice. This is looking good. This is looking good. Where's the finish line? Here's the finish line. Perfect. 1 minute 56.346. That's a very good time there. Right, so next up is the Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This is uh, quite a nice car, actually. I do like the Skyline. Let's see how well we can destroy this car, though, with a Lamborghini. Should be fairly easy. Here we go, though. Right, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. Nice. Good start. Weaving in and out between the cars there. That's good. Careful. Slow down, slow down, slow down. No. Nice. Keep it as smooth as possible throughout the corners. Turn left. Can I get past? Weave in between the trucks. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Ah, there we go. Nice.
Perfect. 2.2 miles left to go before the finish line. By the looks of it, we must be at least 20 seconds ahead. Absolutely destroying the skyline with this Lamborghini. The fact that this game as well actually does simulate um, sort of like different drive trains. Four-wheel drive, front-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. I also didn't realize that the Lamborghini was four-wheel drive. I thought that was rear-wheel drive as well. Because it definitely fits in with the MR category in Gran Turismo. For the mid-engine rear-wheel drive cars. So that is pretty interesting. Nice though. There we go. There's the finish line. Got a tiny bit of penalty, but not enough to be disqualified. Which is... Okay. Very good. And there's the audio glitch again. Lovely. Right, what is next up? It is... The Lamborghini Gallardo Roadster. Okay, let's do this. I like the Gallardo quite a lot. Um, I definitely prefer the look of the Gallardo over the Murcielago, but again, that's personal preference. Other people prefer the Murcielago because it's quicker. I definitely prefer the Gallardo because of how it looks. It's just such a clean looking car. I also like how they've just uh, scrapped the sort of triangle lights on the rear of the car. Because they just couldn't be bothered to map those. Those would be a nightmare to sort out. The uh, arrow shaped. I, I don't know. The sort of arrow shaped on the Gallardo. They're very nice actually. But they definitely could not be bothered to completely map it. Come on, come on. 3.3 miles left to go. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Nice. Perfect. Two and a half miles left now. We got a very small amount of penalty, like barely anything at the moment. And we're coming up to the zigzag section. We've been down this road so many times in this game, it is ridiculous. This road and the Ford dealership is all we seem to meet. Let's go, very nice. Coolio. I think within the next two days, so today, tomorrow, and the day after, uh, this game should be finished, which that will be Friday, Saturday. So it should be done before the uh, Formula One Grand Prix. Awesome. And if it's not, I'll cry, genuinely. This has gone really well, though. And the series has been taken very well so far. Uh, people have been enjoying it. Uh, the first three videos have come out now. Um, obviously, we're on like episode 40 something. Getting close to episode 40. But episode three has just come out. And it's been really good. Really fun. There we go, though. 2 minutes 32.085. Nice. Groovy. We got ourselves 812 master points as well, which is like nothing. Right, so next up is the Gallardo Coupe. So we're doing a uh, like for like race now. 
We're going to be driving in the exact same stuff as our opponent. Actually, that's a lie because our car is upgraded. Right, let's do this though. We're in the red. They're in the orange. And we're off. Perfect. Truck's giving us that little bit of a head start because of um, slowing down the other Gallardo. 6.6 .6 miles for this event. Let's go on the inside there. Bum, bum. Ba -da -bum, -bum. Ba -da -bum, bum Nice. Oh. Going a little bit sideways there and getting ourselves around about a quarter of our penalty meter feet filled up. Obviously, you get that fully filled up, you get disqualified. So we've got another three quarters left. Imagine if that was like club wide. So you, while you did all six events, you had to do it without filling up that meter for all six events. And if it filled up, and it would carry on to the next event. And if it filled up, you'd have to go straight back to the first event again. That'd be pretty cool. That would add a huge amount of challenge to this game. But obviously make it a little more lenient as well, so it wouldn't fill up as quick. It'd fill up twice as slow. It'd fill up half the speed. There we go, though. Very nice. Bum, bum, ba -da -ba -da. bum, bum, bum. Oh, careful. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the mini map. Three miles left to go. Nice. Come on, let's go, let's go. Right, we're gonna have to slow down here. Two miles left. Nice little slide through there. The other guy, Ardo, is just behind us. Or he's not just behind us, but it's behind us. It's not too far away. Here we go. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, careful. Perfect. Let's go. And here's the finish line. And there we go, we're across. Perfect. We got ourselves 1,875 uh, master points for that. 7,500 credits. I think we've got two more races left to do with the all-wheel drive. If I'm correct. Yes, so next up is the Murcielago Roadster and then the Murcielago Coupe. What is it with the Lamborghinis? It's just Lamborghini after Lamborghini. A bit crazy. Nice. Oh, the Merchilago Roadster though does look good. And we're off. 5.6 miles. Let's go. Ah, uh, that's not great. That was a rubbish first corner there. Technically second corner, but oh well. Weave in between the traffic, not a problem for us. I wonder what class is as an elegant car though, because that's going to be the next club that we go to. I really wonder what class is as an elegant car. Nice. 
nice. Oh, slow down, slow down. Nope. Turn left. Perfect. Look at that. 3.3 miles to go. Nope, we've crashed into the lorry again. Can we not crash into a lorry before Nick tries to chase up with us? Catch up with us and chase us. That makes more grammatical sense. I think the worst part about that sentence as well is the fact that I don't think grammatical is a word. Yeah, I don't think it is. Crap. <laughs> You're English and you can't even speak English. I know. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, ah, nice. That's very good. 1.2 miles. This car's been driven loads, surprisingly. I think we've driven this more than the other B-Class car. I think we've driven this more than... What is it? The... Oh, it was the Shelby Concept, wasn't it? We drove it more than that. If the Shelby Concept was released today, it would still be pretty futuristic. And this is like 14 years ago. So, old. All wheel drive club. Right, so that was the penultimate round. I think it is. Penultimate is second to last, isn't it? Yeah. Right, but next up is the Lamborghini Murcielago Coupe. This is going to be the last car of the all wheel drive club. And then that is the club defeated. Here we go. Ah, oh, the Murcielago Coupe though just doesn't look. Uh, it doesn't look great. And we're off. Nice. Go, go, go. This is a very short race. 0 0.7 miles left. Wow. Come on. This is the first club of the session today. And it is done. Oh, we got another free vehicle upgrade. Oh, lovely. Not like we've already got like 20 of them. Can we get some more cars? I want some more cars. Give me cars. Right, but there we go. We are the president of the all-wheel drive club now. That's nice. That's very good, Our actually. Is being recalculated. So, uh, next up, let's have a look and see where we got to go now. Uh, so, we are heading towards this one, which is the Club de Elegance. I think that's how you say it. As, and it literally just says elegant cars. But what class is as an elegant car? Because that could be interpreted to opinion, couldn't it? In theory. I'd say the Bugatti Veyron's an elegant car. But then I'd also say the Nissan R31. R32. R30. Uh, maybe not R33. I don't like it. And the R34 are all elegant cars, but that probably won't be under this. I'm actually going to check and see if the uh, R34 is classed as an elegant car. No, it's not. So what is classed as an elegant car? These are the only cars that are available to use. Now, technically, I don't. 
have a Ford GT. And I don't have any A-class vehicles. So I have a choice of either taking the Miura or going and buying a Ford GT. I feel like we should go and buy a Ford GT. I'll be back. Right, so after driving past this exact Ford dealership about 1,500 times, uh, we're going to pick ourselves a Ford. And I quite like those, actually, wheel-wise. Um, Ford GTs must be taken with the Stripe, no matter what. Um, uh, midnight blue. No, I don't want to go red because that's. Ugh, why not? Not enough garage space. Oh yeah, of course. I don't have any cars that I actually want to sell. I could sell that, the firepower concept. No, I want the DTM. Shall we get rid of the Corvette then? The C1, yeah. Let's get rid of that. We'll take the Ford GT. Sorry, Corvette. You weren't wanted today. Um, and now what we need to do is... Palolo. Okay, cool. Uh, we need to shift over to aftermarket. Oh, it's that one there. Perfect. We're going to fast travel here and get ourselves our free upgrade. Because we've got plenty of them. And we're going to make sure it's max as well. Because I want max. Imagine if this turns it into like a Ford GT LM car. That would be pretty cool. Look at that. That is amazing. I think there's another Ford GT behind it as well. Oh, look at that. Stunning. Let's get that upgrade. Perfect. And now that we've actually unlocked the club... De elegance or whatever. Uh, if we go clubs now, look how many we've done. All down in the bottom are all done. We've got one there, three in the middle, and then this one here. Club de elegance. Let's do it. Where is my Ford GT? Okay, so first of all, we're going against the Chevrolet Corvette C1 1957. Let's go. It's a good choice of car, actually. Nice. One, and we're off. Okay, the Ford GT actually seems like a decent choice of car. I'm not going to deny it. This is actually quite fun. Oh, a little bit of off-road penalty there. Let's have a look at the interior. Oh yeah, typical Ford GT. <laughs> Nothing special about that. Nice. All oh, weaving in and out of the traffic. And here we go across the line. Finished in first place. 56 seconds. Wow. All right. Fair enough. Are you going to load? Yes. Thank you. Okay, next up is the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Gullwing. Let's do this. Do, 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 do. After this session, I've got to plan what I'm doing for Friday's live stream, which is tomorrow. I've got to get a poll out, see what people want me to play. But uh, it should be fun. It should be fun. Then we might see if we can do like some Lego games or something. That might be cool. Especially Lego Star Wars. That'd be sick. Oh, wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the Gold Wing is beating us, but not for long. It's very good. Five miles left of this race. Okay, not good. 
Back on track, very nice. Go, go, go. Don't lose too much time, please. Slow down. Nice. Perfecto. Yeah, yeah. Perfecto. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Okay, keep it steady. Keep it calm. Keep it steady. Uh, 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 keep it calm, keep it steady. This is looking really good so far. We've got 1.2 miles left of this race, and we must be at least a mile ahead of the goal wing. There is no way we're not a mile ahead. At least the Ford GT in this game is a little bit realistic in the fact that it has got those long gears. I think though it might be a little bit shorter. Because the first gear normally gets you up to 70 miles an hour, so... A little bit unrealistic on that side. It's a little bit shorter. But still pretty fun. I think I need to shut my window in a minute. There is a massive breeze blowing through there. Right, next up is the Jaguar E-Type Coupe. Let's do this. Or Type E, sorry. Jaguar Type E. Two completely different things. Right, let's go. Three, two, one, go. We're off. Oh, got a little bit of off-road penalty there. Two miles till the finish line. Shouldn't take too long against the Type E, that's for sure. Ah, don't lose control, please. Okay, crash. That's also another alternative. Just crash. when the car starts fishtailing you need to watch out then because you can lose total control of the car but here we go across the line oh we nearly went into the water there that would have been a good swim actually we could call this uh, test drive swimmingly could rename the game that'd be a good idea uh, next up, Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione. Let's go. I like this car as well. This is going to be fun. Alright, let's go. And we're off. Nice. At the next intersection, turn left. Turn left. Brilliant. Right, three miles. Let's go. Perfect. Now. You have to make the noises, they are mandatory. If you don't make the noises, you're committing crimes.
Come on, come on. Careful. One mile left to go. Let's go. Come on. This is a really hard car to drive. I'm not going to lie. It feels like a tank. I don't really want to drive it anymore after this club. Preferably. But uh, if I don't have enough A-class cars, I might have to drive it anyways. But there we go. First place. 1 minute 38. That was good. That was a good race. Right, next up is the Lamborghini Miura P400 SV, which I think is Super Veloz. Which I also think is the same thing that's on the Murcielago SV. So they've kept the SV name for many years now. It's just it's just a shame that the um, new Nissan GTR that they made back in 2005, 2006... When they did the next generation of the GTR, the R35, they just called it the GTR. I wish it was still the Nissan Skyline GTR. Because they need to stay together. It should have been... I mean, it technically is still the R35, but like... No. You're breaking all the rules, Nissan. Those are the kind of things that shouldn't be messed with. At the next intersection, turn right. Awesome. Also, the uh, Nissan GTR has been going on for way too long. We need an R36. We need a new one. Bit of off-road penalty there. Not too bad, though. Hopefully, the uh, final race with the Ford GT is going to be uh, quite a long one. But now that I've said that, it's going to be like 0.6 of a mile. Here we go. After loads of corners, 1 minute 24.5 seconds later, we get the win. Good. That is very good. We are still above 2 million credits though, even after getting the Ford GT. Cars are not expensive in this game. Right, next up is another Ford GT as our opponent. It's going to be good. Oh, it's a white one with the blue stripe. That would have been my second choice, would be the white with the blue. But my first choice is normally red with white. It's just something about this car is just a classic in the 2005 Ford GT. I know it's not the color of the classic Ford GT from um, the 60s. But something about this paint design just seems better. I think the classic Ford GT from the 60s was like blue, just light blue colour. Oh, that's not great. Ah, review went off. Uh-oh. That gives us a huge advantage now. Oh, and it was only pretty much the end of the race as well. Wow. Okay, game. Thanks. Oh, nice. We won a Jaguar Type E Coupe. Awesome, finally, a car. That is good. And if we look here, we are now the president of Club de Elegance. Which means we've only got four clubs left to go. Let's do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or click on the merch link in the description. It would mean the world to me. And also, don't forget to check in the description for our other social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, 
and Discord. So make sure to follow us over on there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Like